Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to design or model the part seen here in the most efficient method possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create or extrude out this entire cube. And then we're going to cut and remove this material seen here. And then we're going to cut and remove this hole down here, which extends all the way through. And then when we're done, we're going to assign a material to our part or object of ABS plastic. And then we're going to get some physical properties such as density, mass, and volume. Let's go ahead and get started. Open up Fusion 360. Make sure you're in your project 4.1G. Okay. Come on up here. Let's do a new design. For this particular part or object, we're actually using millimeters, not inches. And we can change that up here in the document settings. So I'm going to click on this little icon right here. I'm going to click right here where it says change active units. I want to click on that guy and we're just going to go to millimeters and hit OK. OK, now let's go ahead and create a sketch. Our first sketch here on the XY plane. We're going to come on up here to our two point rectangle tool. We're going to start our rectangle here at the origin and we're going to drag out a rectangle that has the dimensions 40 by 60. So you see where it's highlighted blue here, 65. We're going to just type in 40, enter. Okay, and now I'm going to come to my sketch dimension and we're going to make this side 60. All right, and we're done with this sketch. Let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And now we're going to extrude it out a distance of 30 millimeters and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead now and just close my data panel so we have more room and I'm going to zoom in and center my object. Now here's a quick tip. If you come on up here, you can set uh, your current view as home. So this can make your home uh, position. So every time now you hit home, it's going to revert back to this view right here. Okay. All right. So now we need to remove this material up in the top here. So we're going to start a sketch now right here on this face and then just click on the face once again we're gonna grab our two-point rectangle and I'm gonna start my rectangle on this top line okay not down here but up here and I'm just kind of in this area right here I'm just gonna draw out a square and I want to take my dimension tool I'm gonna to make this distance here 15 millimeters. This distance here from the edge, a distance of 10 millimeters. And from this side to this edge, I'm going to make that distance 25 millimeters and hit enter. Okay. Now I'm going to finish my sketch. And we're going to extrude this time, but we're going to do something new. We're going to cut material. So to cut material, we're going to use the same button, extrude. Click on the face we want to go. All right. And I like to drag it the other way. And as you drag it, notice over here how the distance goes to negative numbers. And we're going to type in a negative 30. So it cuts all the way through. And make sure it says cut here and hit OK. The last feature we need to make is this square hole on this face that's going to cut all the way through. So let's come on up and start a sketch on this face. We're going to once again grab our two point rectangular tool and somewhere in this vicinity right in here, I'm going to start drawing out my rectangle. Click. Okay, I'm going to come up to my sketch dimension tool here and from this side to this side, we're going to make that three millimeters. From this distance to this distance, we're going to make that 15 millimeters. And then from the top to the bottom of this rectangle, we're going to make that 10. And then from the bottom of our rectangle to the bottom of the big rectangle, we're going to make that 10 or excuse me, five. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish our sketch. So now let's come on up here to extrude. 
click on the portion we wish to extrude. So this guy right here, we're gonna click on that. I'm gonna drag it the other way. And where it says extent now, I'm gonna change that distance. Instead of having a distance, we're just gonna cut all the way through. So we're gonna select all, make sure that says cut, and then hit okay. Now that we're done designing and modeling our part or object, let's give it a material. There's two ways to do that. You can come on up here to modify and select physical material here, or you can come on over here to document settings, right click and select physical material. And for this particular part, we want to give it a material of ABS plastic. So I'm going to click on plastic. I'm going to drag ABS plastic since it's right there. Hit close. Okay. And I like to always give it a color just to make it look nice. Um, I'm going to go to modify here in appearance. Okay. And I'm going to click here, edit, and well, let's just give this guy kind of a reddish color and hit done. Go ahead and close that guy. And finally, what we want to do is right click on document settings, excuse me, not document settings up here, in the part, go to properties. And now it's ABS plastic. We have all these great physical properties of our part. Okay, we have our surface area, density, mass, volume, and so forth. We also have other things like moment of inertia and all these other great types of data. Okay, that's it for this part or model. We'll start on part three in our next video. Before you leave though, please remember to save it as part two or whatever you want to call it. That will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.